don't even make songs Still beat your fucking brakes off Got you shook to answer like a magic eight ball Called you out yesterday, the media's all over it TMZ posted it, act like you don't notice it You know, I think that, I think you're getting a little bit down on yourself Nah, I'm that guy, I'm just a normal guy, right? Of I'm course, not, yeah, we all are well, You're not a normal guy I'm not a guy, but you know, sometimes hey. I feel like a guy, actually Sometimes you look like a guy so, Fuck you <laughs> 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 oh man, poor guy. I can't imagine, bro. Your babysitter sucked your dick? What? <laughs> That's what's up! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Not funny, guys, seriously. When he was in high school, he was gang raped by the entire cheerleading team. <laughs> Babysitter makes his lunch for him, cuts the corners off of his sandwiches, fucking sucks his cock, sends him off to school. Woo! And this is the thing she gets. You acting like a little bitch right now. Oh. Oh. No, Brett, my life wasn't all peaches and cream either. Hell, I dealt with a fair bit of bullying myself. Ah, you probably don't want to hear about all that. No, I actually do. When I was 25 years old, I had a dick reduction. Best decision ever made. But up until then, it was hell. Oh, well, well, well. Look who's there. Moby Dick. What happened to his face? He probably got a heart on. <laughs> hey, Coxilla. <laughs> Not even the black guys have my back. So even the goths picked on me. Fucking freak. Hey, Sea Biscuit. What are you doing now? Hey, <laughs> ah well. <coughs> Get that out of here, would you? You make me sick. That's what you do. <laughs> Coward. Oh yeah, battle Tay Rock. It was funny. Uh, we were doing. Uh, he was doing an interview. I think it was with you. Yeah. And uh, Tay, Rock, Tay Rock said, "He's like we're talking about betting each other." He goes, oh, "I'll bet him." He goes, "I want his whole back end." Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Might gotta pause that one. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I you might gotta that. pause that one. You that you might that. That. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's the one you pause. Yeah, we ain't gonna pause it's everything with that one. And I can smell the shit from a mile away. It ain't a faint scent. <sighs> oh, shut up. You fucking suck. I'm only doing this shit because I needed a couple bucks, you bitch. You got your little metaphors and similes, but no charisma, no cadence delivery. Man, he offered to write my verse for me, y'all. First of all, dipshit, you couldn't write a nursery song. You do me no service at all, like emergency call. Nerve of him, y'all. I said, cool, I got a verse for you, dog. Man, you trash. I'm just keeping it real with you. I told you my price was two grand. Well, this is what nine bills get you. He's back. He does it every fuck. You know, he's, he does it every battle. Okay, for example, like, if he's battling someone who's a underdog to him, he's the tough guy, rip you up and fucking murder. Then when he battles Sh Shotgun Shook, he's like, oh, yeah, fucking, what do you know about being a little dirty white guy and your dick is too small? What do you know about getting pushed in the hole? It's like, you're such a fucking whore, man. How can you say that about white people as a white person? I know. That's what I'm saying. It's just so, it's just, that's, that, that's my whole entire point. That's who he is. Listen, you had a long day. Um, you've been you've been dying to have a yank one out. You know what I mean? The the wife's downstairs. You're upstairs making a shit. You get a business call, right? Your dick's in your hand, hard as a rock. Okay, you get a business call, but you and you know you have to answer it, and yeah. and you you can't say, hey, I'll call you right back. What do you do? Oh, that's easy. Answer it. Say what's up. Allow them to express. Mute them. Finish rubbing out. Boy, if you don't get... With, while, while a grown man is talking to you on the phone. Ah, well, you know. 
If my girl wanted to cheat on me with you, I wouldn't even stop her. I'd scream and holler in excitement for her every time that I seen you call her. I'd even drop her off at your house for you and pretend to just be your father. I'd beep and all. I mean, just the thought of you being on her, it'd be an honor. And with your cardiovascular, you'd be able to go harder and faster than me, not to mention how long you could last with her. I'd sneak in your room, peeking out through the closet, watching you smashing her, come out applauding you afterwards and go home, not even mad at her. Dog, I'd be proud of her. (laughs) How you like that? Hey, bro, what the fuck is going on, bro? Bro, you feeling yourself, bro? All day. Uh-huh. <laughs> you a funny mo. What's that, man? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And the next thing you know, I was drinking at 40 and get in trouble and do some crazy shit and uh, just turn into a just a, a mad person, man. And, and you know me, I'm, where, mm-hmm. I'm the happiest guy in the world, you know what I mean? I don't drink mad beers. You gotta drink like you know, drink a Coors or some shit. You drinking all English? <laughs> no. That's a beer. To bring you up in this, bro, because I like you. But, but they start talking. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Wait. You talk someone too. <laughs> Wait. But they start. They start talking. Oh, it broke a little bit. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, oh my goodness. Is that right? Mm. <laughs> I'll clean that up. Look at that. Mm. <gasps> Laddie daddy, you got your bitch sniffing out my body. I'm fresh. Better ask somebody. Ain't nobody dope as me. I'm just so fresh, so clean. It don't make you no less racist just cause you bought some Echo jeans. Being a tall boy surely doesn't help. Ladies, uh, two dirty blondes, correct? Wow. Oh my God. You ignorant, dirty, bigoted piece of shit! I am sorry. I am so sorry. I don't mean any type of. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. What can I get you guys? What can I get you guys? I apologize. I didn't mean to offend whatsoever. What can I get you? You know what we want. <laughs> Here we go. You know what we like. That's right. We like a tall, tall boy. boy. A nice tall boy. Nice tall boy. Coming right up. What? Come right up to our room, tall boy. <laughs> Mickey, you know what they say about those tall boys. I hate this. Sometimes I just want to quit. He's probably as big as the can. Yeah, what time you off, toots? <laughs> I, I'm not saying this just because I'm on your podcast, but I was saying you should have won, in my opinion, Battler of the Year. And I feel like your last, like... Moments. That's a moment. Yeah, that's a moment. I feel like you should have won Battler of the Year and your last, like... <laughs> Seth Robbins. Yeah. Your last, Anybody like, got a four, condom? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, no, but you're right. Yeah, you're and right. you feel better. You feel naturally. You laugh at your friends' funerals. That's a very interesting thing about you. All the time. Shuts down my dead homies. Yeah. Suckers. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> just joking. Dead meat. Uh, I'm joking. Just- I got a lot of dead friends. How am I saying you clearly? What did you hear when it come from a spirit? It come from up here where we smiling and laughing and pain. It don't happen and we never feel it. I will be capping and I keep it sealed and I don't see the ceiling. What you see is real and I hope you embrace it. Keeping you safe and if it was with you before, then he still is. Yeah, keeping a hold of what's close. Leave me the hope and it leave me with glow.